Hello, my name is Matt, and I'm going to read a book to you called Because of Wind Dixie, written by Kay DiCamello. It's the first chapter book I'm going to be reading to you guys, so I hope you enjoy it. So, chapter one. My name is Indiana Obokwone, and last summer my daddy, the preacher, sent me to the store for a box of macaroni and cheese, some white rice, and two tomatoes. And I came back with a dog. This is how it happened. I walk into the produce section of the Winn Dixie grocery store to pick out my two tomatoes, and I almost bumped right into the store manager. He was standing there, all red faced, screaming and waving his arms around. Who let a dog in here? He kept on shouting. Who let a dirty dog in here? At first, I didn't see a dog. There was just a lot of vegetables rolling around on the floor. Tomatoes and onions and green peppers. And there was what seemed like a whole army of Winn-Dixie employees running around waving their arms just the same way the store manager was waving his. And then the dog came running around the corner. He was a big dog and, and ugly. And he looked like he was having a real good time. He, his tongue was hanging out and he was wa wagging his tail. He skidded, skidded to, the, to a stop and smiled right at me. I had never before in my life seen a dog smile, but that is what he did. He pulled back his lips and showed me all his teeth. Then he wagged his tail so hard that he knocked some oranges off a display and they went rolling everywhere, mixing in with the tomatoes and onions and the green peppers. The manager screamed, somebody grab that dog. The dog went running over to the manager, wagging his tail and smiling. He stood up on his hind legs. You could tell that all he wanted to do was get face to face with the manager and thank him for the good time he was having in the produce department. But somehow he ended up knocking the manager over and the manager must have been having a very bad day because laying there on the floor right in front of everybody, he started to cry. The dog leaned over him, real concerned. He licked his face. Please, said the manager, somebody call the pan. Wait a minute, I hollered. That's my dog. Don't call the pan. All the Winn-Dixie employees turned around and looked at me, and I knew I had done something big and maybe stupid too, but I couldn't help it. I couldn't let that dog go to the pound. Here, boy, I said. The dog stopped licking the manager's face and put his ear up into the air and looked at me like he was trying to remember where he knew me from. Here, boy, I said again, and then I figured that the dog was probably just like everybody else in the world that he wanted to be called by a name. Only I didn't know what his name was, so I just said the first thing that came into my mind, my head. I said, here, Winn-Dixie, and, and that dog came trolling over to me just like he had been doing it his whole life. The manager sat up and gave me a hard stare, like maybe I was making fun of him. It's his name, I said, honest. The mender said, don't you know not to bring a dog into the grocery store? Yes, sir, I told him. He got in by mistake. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Come on, Windex, I said to the dog. I stared at He. I started walking, and the dog followed me along. Followed, followed along behind me. As I went out, of the produce department and down the cereal aisles as past all the cashiers and out the door. Once we were safe outside, I checked him over real careful, and he didn't look that good. He was big but skinny. You could see his ribs, and there were bold patches all over him, places where he, had, he didn't have any fur at all. 
Mostly he looked like a big piece of old brown carpet that had been left out in the rain. You're a mess, I told him. I bet you don't belong to anybody. He smiled at me. He did not He did that thing again where he pulled back his lips and showed me all his teeth. He smiled so big it made him sneeze. It was just like he was saying, I know, I'm a mess. Isn't it funny? It's hard not to immediately fall in love with a dog who, was, who has a good sense of humor. Come on, I told him. Let's see what the pre preacher has to say about you. And the two of us, me and Dwayne Dixie, started walking home. Chapter 2